Welcome Capricorns. I'm back, 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 back. Happy to be back here with you guys. All right, so I just want to let y'all in on the tea. Let me give y'all the tea before we get into the tea tea, all right? So, um, you know, during this pandemic, everyone needs face masks, okay? So I decided to partner with Teespring to provide those face masks for my subscribers, okay? So, um, sometime during this week, you will, you guys will be able to purchase um, face masks, okay? I'm trying to make some for the male and the female, male and female uh, colored and themed face masks, okay? I'm super thrilled. I'm super excited. Um, I really am, like, I really am excited. I hit my 10K mark here on YouTube, and that was extremely, I'm extremely like appreciative and I wouldn't be able to have this many subscribers um, if it wasn't for you guys. So how I'm gonna give back is whoever purchases merchandise from my channel, they'll be entered in to win a free reading, okay? And I'm gonna do this every month. Starting this month, every month I'm going to choose a winner to uh They'll get a free reading with me, okay? So that's my uh, token back to you guys. I'm going to be doing stuff like that all the time, like, you know, free reads. I have some some new things as well that's coming up. I'm not going to speak on them too soon, um, but I do have some, some other things uh, in the works, okay? Definitely. So if you would like to donate to my channel, guys, that information is in the drop box below. My cash app tag is Read Divine Tarot. So if it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever helps, it does go towards to uh, you know brightening up and freshening up this channel. Okay, bringing new things to this channel. So I definitely appreciate everything that you guys do. You guys don't know how good I am to be at 10K subscribers. This is really a milestone for me. This is something that I never saw, you know, saw happening um, when I first started YouTube. But I, I didn't wasn't even aware of, you know, um, you know, I really didn't think about the subscribers when I started YouTube. I just got on here and just wanted to branch off and do something without all of my all of the people that I know eyes on me. I wanted to have other people that are on this same wave who, you know, who doesn't discriminate, who doesn't look at me weird for reading tarot. You know, I, I made this, this channel for that. But then when I started seeing the subscribers and how much people comment and how I help people so much and change people's lives, it has really, really put an effect on me. And I appreciate every everything that you guys comment, shares, likes, all of that. Like, I really wholeheartedly appreciate it okay so if you are new to my channel come on and click the subscribe button hit the bell all right y'all go ahead and click that like button on your way in don't be afraid to comment all right comment below i comment back all right so let's get into it let's see what messages we have for capricorns for the month of july july we need july to be a good month we need july <laughs> we really do July is the seventh month. Sevens are lucky numbers. <laughs> so hopefully July will bring us abundance. Bring us abundance. And when I said that, received came out. Okay. Give me one more message for my Capricorns, please. grab a few more this is interesting the first card we have is action okay the second card we have is received and we have fall
Hmm. Some of you are deciding to purge from something. Um, you're looking at your self-worth. Okay. Some of you are really zoomed in and focused looking at yourself. Okay. And what actions you need to take to balance yourself, your self-worth, to balance yourself. Somebody's not aware of their potential here. I got material world and unawakened. Somebody isn't aware of their potential here. Somebody isn't aware of what action they need to take to unlock, um, unlock something, okay? I do sense that um, around September, October, November, I feel like you guys are going to be ascending, are going to be at a higher level. But I feel like there's things that you are needing to purge. There's some things that you have to let go of. Ooh. I'm storm. There's something that you need to let go of, okay? It could be a, a bond or a connection or a lover or some type of union that has gone sour um, that needs to be closed. We got conclusion. Somebody needs closure or you need closure to a situation. I feel like it. you guys are getting ready to take some type of action on something that you need to do. Um, you may feel as if you're asleep, like, you know, how is, how is, uh, you may be looking around at everything around you and like, how do I get to this level? What do I need to do to get to this level? Okay. Well, they don't do this or they, they, they said that they had to cut off this habit or cut that off or cut this off. Are you willing to do those type of things to get to the level that you want to be at? Yeah, see, look, we got refocus. And some of you guys need, are definitely looking for a new start, okay? A fresh new beginning. But your focus, where is your focus, okay? Where is your focus? We got regret. There's something that you possibly could be regretting that you don't speak about, okay? We got mute. And you don't speak about it because you're still healing. You still haven't healed completely from it or you're in the process of healing from this. But there's some things that you that you regret that you don't speak about. Um, and it may be throwing you off course. Deception. Okay, so some of you are realizing, are coming to this awakening that you may be real deal at a crossroad and you have to make a decision. So in the near future, some of you guys may be in, in an unawakened state right now. But you're getting ready to, to wake up. And I feel like it's going to happen within the next few months. We got fall here. That's around September, October, November. Okay. Maybe some of you uh, have had some type of dream or you just feel like a, like you know i feel like something that you're unaware of right now that you aren't aware of a step or action that you need to take to come out of a certain type of energy you're trying to refocus some of you feel like you're at a crossroad and some of you are getting ready to have the biggest awakening, okay? Some of you guys are getting ready to go through the great awakening. You need to realize that you got free will. And you're going to have to do what it is what's best for you. For you to unlock, um, for you to unlock this energy of the material world. Shadow work may need to be done. 
things that you keep hidden, things that you keep keeping it dark. But you're going to have to open up um, and make a decision for the best decision for you. I feel like some of you may be dealing really, really hard with deception. I do definitely want to see why deception is here. I feel like some of you guys are going to have to refocus. Shift your focus on what's more important to get what you're looking for. Capricorns, we know that you like possessions. We know that you like the finer things. We know that you will go to work. You will work, work, work. You, you guys are goats. Now, y'all are the goats. Okay? Your reputation is everything. Why is action here? We got you guys. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. All right? And we got the Page of Pentacles here. Talks about money. Talks about finances. Um, you, I feel like, see, look at this. The chariot is in reverse. Okay. You're not sure how to move forward. You may have an idea, but you may don't know how to move forward with an idea. Okay. Why is purge here? I definitely want to see why purge is here. Look, yes, we got the moon. There is things in your subconscious. There's things that you keep hidden. Your emotions that you keep hidden, okay? There's something that you guys aren't aren't opening up about, okay? Okay, some of you want to start a family. We got the full card and the four of wands. This is the family life, um, marriage life, okay? Some of you may want to start a, a business. Some of you may want to start. I feel like a new fresh start on something big, a community or something involving the community, or something in that nature, okay? But I don't feel like you have the courage or the faith. I feel like you may feel like it's unattainable for you, okay? That there's a lot to do. And some of you guys are playing around too much, and I'm just going to say that, and having too much fun and drinking and smoking and out cheating and lying. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real, you know, not being honest when it comes to love. Some of you aren't taking love serious. Like your focus could just be on stability. Okay. This is the stability card. I feel like some of you don't want, don't want to give that up. So this is the, these are the things that needs to be purged. Um, I feel like those are some of I feel like some some may just be habits some may just be what you choose to mask over some type of pain or hurt or that is the way some of you have been trying to heal okay why is refocus here look at this an uh, answered prayer we got the sun and the star card some of you guys got to look at the bigger picture now, okay? There's some pain and some sorrow that you guys need to heal from. Uh, you guys got to change your focus, okay? I'm getting a lot of stressful energy, okay, that you need to move on from, that you need to let go. Something that bothers, something that's bothering you is hindering you from the sun shining on you right now. Indecision and feeling as if you you don't have control over a relationship or a situation. Because look, I got the two of cups again in the reverse. It's possibly bothering or tampering with your connections or bonds that you have with other people. Some of you are being um, totally like, you know, I'm going to just put it out there. Being very um, asshole. Okay. Emperor reverse. He's an asshole. I'm sorry. Okay, he don't take no shit and he's super duper controlling. It's his way or the highway, okay? All right? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to sit up here and shit code nothing. But what I see is what I see. Why is unawakened here? Okay, there's an invitation or offer of some type. I'm 
getting lots of deception. Okay, somebody's being a player here and not telling their family or not telling the truth about their home life, their relationships with other people. I got the lovers reverse seven of swords, three of cups again. Eight of wands. Maybe some of you guys are waiting to tell the truth or tell tell uh, what's going on. But I feel like some of you feel stuck. Some of y'all are afraid to, to say what it is that you want to say to someone. So you've been keeping it inside. Like you're not telling. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah. Once again, Eight of Swords. Some of y'all are afraid to ask. <clears throat> Some of y'all are afraid to ask so you'll never know. Some of y'all are afraid to ask question or ask for something. And it's just like you'll never know if you don't ask. What do you guys are regretting here? What is the regret feeling here? Some of you took your time and somebody is very impatient. Somebody lost patience, okay? There's something here about a decision in the past <clears throat> or there's lots of confusion. It's just cloudiness about the past. Maybe some of you guys waited too long to speak up about a situation and some of you... Um, now are in hermit mode. Yeah. Mm hmm Somehow you're waiting on somebody to say something about somebody cheating or <laughs> lying or sneaking off. Like, you guys are gossiping about somebody finding out something. You regret somebody finding out, finding out about a third party. That's what it is. That's what it is. You regret somebody finding out about this third party. And, and you could be waiting on this person's reaction, okay? Maybe they aren't giving you any re a reaction, okay? Because you feel like, I know you saw it. I know you I know you see or heard about it. Why is the paper swords here? Four swords. Because you thought they was going to, you probably thought that they was going to go run around and act crazy too. But I'm getting like somebody did it. Okay. Some of y'all doing stuff waiting for a reaction out of somebody. Okay. Why is a uh, uh, deception here? These cards is just telling it. Why is deception here? Mmm, the truth. Oh, about a relationship. All right. So it looks like you guys are going to... I feel like some of y'all need to tell the truth about a, about a lie that was told, okay? Either you guys told a lie or somebody told a lie or somebody was, was was had more than one or two partners, okay? Somebody here could still, somebody here could be living, already have a living, living situation and then they aren't telling someone or someone here is most definitely married and they haven't been being honest, okay? Somebody's lied and cheated. Okay, so I'm getting like side piece energy and somebody needs to know the truth. I got the moon here. I got the ace of swords here. I got the three of swords. I got the seven of swords. Keeps wanting to reveal itself. Somebody is afraid to tell the truth, afraid of someone's reaction. Okay, maybe someone was unaware that someone was doing or uh, moving the way they was. Um, but I feel like there's big, there's this big scandal here. There's this big scandal and y'all need to come come correct with it. It's either you or them. Energy could be vice versa. Why is the seed here? Yeah, see, we got you regretting something from the past. Okay, you regret doing something. 
this this is I feel like on this particular read, I'm getting that this is you guys' energy, okay? So you could be regretting somebody finding out they was watching you and they found out. Why is the five of cups here? Somebody moved on. Somebody found something out and they've moved on. Okay. This was their final decision that they were done. Okay. Somebody made a final decision to leave. Okay. Possibly after they found out that somebody was a liar, a cheat. Okay. Why is Fall here? Yeah. Okay. So communication is going to come in. Communication is going to be coming in possibly from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone who carries that energy. I'm getting a conversation being had. Why is the page of chemicals here? Okay, someone's going to be expressing their feelings. Could be towards a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's definitely going to open up. Okay. Ascending. I feel like the truth is getting ready to come out. I feel like um, you guys are going to be ascending to a high level, okay? We got the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. So, I mean, you're going to be manifesting here. You're manifesting. You're, you're um, gaining a profit off of something. And look, I keep getting this, okay? Look at this. I keep getting it. Somebody could most definitely be married here, okay? And they've been lying or cheating. I got the seven of swords, the three of swords. There needs to be some type of apology, okay? Somebody needs to apologize. Somebody needs closure. I'm getting the strength, and I also got the queen of wands, so it could be a Leo. But somebody needs closure, okay? Why is the magician here? Yeah. You're making a step. You want to make the first step. Oh, look at this. Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, 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 yes. So you want to do what's best, okay? You're going to possibly be taking the first step. I feel like you're going to be opening up and communicating, okay? Maybe possibly about the part that you played um, or how you caused some type of drama to someone's life or something in that nature. Um, yeah, let's see, look at this, Three of Swords, and the Hierophant could be a divorce, talks about divorce, okay, maybe you're waiting for the third party to leave, okay, why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, see, look, see, something here about a divorce, okay, so I'm getting like someone lied about being married could be somebody had more than one option with the lovers were first and the seven of cups, the two of cups, the, the relationship just went sour, okay? I feel like the devil, look at this. I feel like this is you guys' energy. <laughs> I'm getting like, I can't control my friends or my peers. I'm getting that. I'm hearing that as well, too. All right. So. Capricorn. That was extremely interesting and intense. Part. So let's see what, what additional messages are there for my Capricorn. Let's do a really quick spread here. What do you want my Capricorns to know for the month of July? What do you want my Capricorns to know for the month of July? What do you want my Capricorns to know for July?
I got the Ace of Cups, okay? Then the Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may be getting a new job. Some of you may, may be moving um, or traveling for work. Got the Judgment, reverse. This is being unawakened to something. Not aware. We got the higher thing. Two of Wands. And the Six of Cups. And the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so guys, I feel like... Some of you are preparing yourself to make a final decision on whether or not if you want to return to, uh, for some of you, this is a long-term relationship. This could possibly have something to do with family family life or a new, or a, a job, okay? Why is the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups is here. This is something new, okay? So it looks like you're open, uh, you're, you're more open to express your, feelings about how you feel about a certain situation this is pisces cancer scorpio's energy as well i have um taurus energy as well too you're ready to make some changes okay i'm getting like i said i've been getting real player player vibes knight of wands and the three of swords I've been getting real, real player vibes from you guys. So I feel like you guys have been doing y'all, okay? You haven't been taking anyone or or the situation too seriously. Um, but I feel like you are wanting to make some changes. And if you aren't re ready to make the changes, then the universe is going to step in. All right? We got the five of swords. Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, the nine of wands. Okay, so you're going to have to listen to your heart on this one, okay? You're going to have to listen to your heart. Some of you feel like this situation has been hanging in the air for far too long. Someone's mother could be involved or someone could pop up pregnant, okay? Because I got the tower card here. Oh, the tower and the empress, this could definitely like be a pregnancy, a pop-up pregnancy. But I'm getting someone here. This has been someone that you've been messing with, Okay. That you've been messing with because I got the devil and the king of wands, okay? Someone could most definitely pop up pregnant. So, you guys need to make sure that you're being careful if you aren't ready to be pregnant or get someone pregnant, okay? Let's see. Why is the nine of wands? Okay. Why is the nine of wands here? Okay, two of swords. You guys are indecisive. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. The sun. Okay, so this is something happy and long term. Look, I'm telling you, someone can most definitely be pregnant. The sun and the empress is definitely pregnancy. Okay, so someone could be pregnant. You could find out that someone is pregnant or you could be like uncertain. You might may have just heard um, or hearing rumors. I'm hearing, hearing that as well. Like you may have heard a rumor that someone was pregnant. Okay. Why is the sun card here? This could be Leo's energy. Why is the sun card here? The lovers, the lovers, Gemini's energy. Maybe you're wondering if someone still cares for you, still has those feelings for you. You may not be sure because they may haven't expressed them to you. We got Hierophant here. Why is the Hierophant here? Ooh, this is like a lot of cards. For some, this is definitely about a marriage or 
for a long term relationship. Somebody that you've been with for a while. Someone that you've been dealing with from the past. Okay. I feel like someone decided to move on from a relationship. And you could be wondering if you still have a chance with this person. You're not sure because they haven't. They're pretty probably possibly really extremely guarded. You could really, really care about this person. Like this person could bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Um, you guys may get money together. Like it, it could have been really, really good, but there could have been something really, really explosive that messed this whole thing up. Okay, so somebody decided to move on. You guys may have not completely moved on from this situation, okay? And I feel like there could definitely be a lot of secrecy, a lot of secrecy, okay? We got the Eight of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, okay? So let's see why the Two of Wands is here. Yeah, see, look, you're making plans. Your plan don't, you plan don't have in this conversation, page of cups you may have been flirting with this person but there's just something like i feel like you guys are scared to say how you feel like you're afraid to tell this person how you feel you're afraid of how they're going to respond you're not sure because they may be seen like they kind of kind of are guarded so you're not sure how they're going to respond why is the six of cups here i feel like for a lot of you guys this is someone from your past yeah You guys are, are, I feel like the conversation is going to come up. Um, and I feel like there's going to be conversations about the past. Like you may reminisce with this person. You guys may talk like, like it's like nothing ever happened. Like y'all might just pick up where y'all left off. Okay. It looks like somebody's been spying. Okay, somebody's been spying on someone. <laughs> you guys may have been spying on this person from your past. You guys feel really regretful for something that you did. I, I feel like... Um, Yep, see this, every time I say y'all, you guys' energy come out, Knight of Pentacles. You guys may have been juggling. Look at this, the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. Mm-hmm. Somebody just hasn't been taking this serious. That's all. Like, you guys just don't want to take, take them serious. But I feel like you are kind of getting to a place where maybe you want to, but you don't know how to. How do they view the Capricorn? How do they view the Capricorn? Ooh. <laughs> they feel like you. there's no growth. Okay. We got Coffin, which is the death card, which is endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Okay. The death card is an ending, um, but it's not a definite ending like in this deck, which would be the Grim Reaper. Which is like, that's, everything is, is over with. Ending, the death card is about an ending, okay? But it's a chance for a new beginning. And I got a sending here as well. I feel like they may feel like you guys don't talk as much because somebody is always on the go. But, you know, they may feel like you got the key to their heart, okay? Give me another card. How do they feel about the Capricorn? I got abundance, okay, abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you desire, gratitude and bliss, okay? Some of them are, someone here, oh, somebody's spying. They saw something and it broke their heart. Maybe you guys um, had got real fresh up on them. You already, you know, you've been stunting, you've been flexing and they've been watching and I feel like they are heartbroken, okay? It's something that they saw and something sabotaged them, like the breakup is the axe here. So the breakup actually um, left them heartbroken, okay? 
Maybe they invested, okay? Maybe they put a lot into you and you guys broke up. Um, and it left them feeling, you know, heartbroken. Give me one more card. How do they view Capricorn? All right, we got date. <laughs> Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. So they feel like you've been spreading your wings, okay? They feel like you've been dating around. We got the dragonfly. So they feel like you've been being lighthearted. They don't think that you've been doing too, too much. They feel like kind of like it's lighthearted, you know. But they found this could also be them finding things out, things coming to the light. You know, things that they had to adapt and change and, and heal, okay? Like I said, we got talking in reverse again. So they don't talk to you as much. But they feel as if, you know, you've been spreading your wings and you've been dating around. Okay, so that's how they view things. Alright, so I hope these messages were helpful for you. If so, don't hesitate to donate to the channel, guys. Um, anything helps. Also, guys, I am getting ready to start going live and doing live readings. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. If you want to book your very own personal reading, guys, information, all of that is in the drop box below. Okay, so I will chat with you guys later. Ciao.